So I'm very excited to announce a new partnership. A new partnership with a company so innovative in the field of biomaterials for dentistry. They've been innovating in the past 100 years. Are you getting it? Yes? Let's make it happen. Marcus Heinz, the CEO of Ivacor, is actually here in the crowd. We're so humbled and we're excited about partnership. Thank you for coming to our event, Marcus. And Team Ivoclar will develop definitive fixed and removable applications for the Sprint Ray ecosystem. Stay tuned. I have a slide on the history of Crown from the 1900s to all the way today. So fascinating, it was always the game of evolve the material and the method to shape it. And we went from pressing it in the early 1900s to now 3D printing it. And we believe 3D printing will democratize access to high quality dental restorations and prosthetics. But 3D printing in its current form and shape has limitations. It doesn't get, get us to where we want to be. More stronger, durable restorations. And the current architecture of 3D printing is a legacy of this man, Chuck Hall. How many of you all know Chuck Hall? He's the godfather of 3D printing. He invented 3D printing, resin 3D printing in the 80s. And this, I had the pleasure of meeting him in 2015. That's me, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and in the past 40 years, Every 3D printing, resin-driven 3D printing company really built on Chuck Hall's 1984 patent. It's been a 40 years anniversary. It's very ironic. And so brilliant of Chuck Hall architecture it is that it's a multi-component architecture to you. That means resin tank. You all heard it. Resin tank, resin, and platform, these multi-components. Very versatile but also comes with one important li limitation, and that's the viscosity limitation that it has. The materials, for materials to work well on chalk hall architecture, they have to flow, like this video behind me. The more water-like it is, the more reliable the process is. On the other hand, the materials that you love in dentistry has ceramics, fillers, composites, and the more we add those, add enough zirconia, glass to it, to center it, it becomes so thick that it becomes impossible to print with chalk hall architecture. So for us to innovate in the biomaterial, we needed to invent new ways to be able to print higher strength, more ceramic-like material. We went to our chalk hall, Jing Jang, Dr. Jing Jang. <laughs> Brilliant inventor. He's got more than 200 patents. My co-founder and CTO, very humble. Behind the scene, every technology we developed was at this guy's brain. And we asked him to fix this, to, to make us something that we can print ceramics, better materials. And he dedicated the past seven, eight years to this, and about two years ago, we had a breakthrough. And today is the day that we all at Sprintray have been waiting for, the past two years. I'm so excited to announce an entirely new platform for biomaterial innovation that is powered by a product that is so revolutionary, that will change everything. And not only for us, but it sets a new era for the industry as a whole. You ready for it? Yeah. I'm gonna invite the man behind this thing to the stage. Come on, Injing. thing is. 
good, huh? <laughs> all right, first of all, Midas combines resin, platform, and resin tank, all into one genius idea coming out of Jing's brain, the inventor behind everything we do. This breakthrough technology just combines everything into one thing. Let me show you. This is the capsule. This tiny thing just embeds everything into itself. To some extent, you could say the 3D printer itself is this thing. It's everything is here. The distinct feature from outside is definitely the press plunger. It's the red plunger that you can see. So now the conventional 3D printers that have multiple apparatus built into this. Let me, let me take another layer off of this thing for you to see what's happening inside of it. So the very first piece is that viscous material is sitting right underneath the press plunger. And then you have this print platform and optical window. So both of these things are all embedded into this one tiny capsule. And then during the press process or print process, however you want to refer to it, what happens is that this gets pressed down, the red plunger, and then because of the Pascal's law of fluid mechanics, the other side goes up. Press, up. One side goes down, the other one goes up. Throughout that process, we start projecting at it. And that's how we cure. At the end of it, the printed appliance is ready for you to take out. That's the Midas capsule. It's revolutionary. It has never been done before, but it's for the very first time by Sprint Ray. It's viscosity agnostic. You've heard of Honey Badger, right? This is the Honey Badger of how you 3D print. Doesn't care. Anything you put into it, it will press it. And because of all these things being packed into one thing, you don't have to deal with resin tank or anything. It's super easy to use. Anybody can use this. You can ask anybody to press it and be done. Now, you can't talk about the capsule and Midas without the actual other piece of it, which is the digital press sitting right there. Let me actually turn it on. You want to print. Beautiful. It's going to boot up soon. So the very first thing, as you can see, another beautiful display on it. The digital dashboard. This is going to be your guidance. We're going to guide users through how to use this. And I think after a few times, you don't even need guidance. It's super easy. The other piece is the barcode scanner. Just like Pro 2, so it's going to scan the, uh, the capsules, and then it's going to walk you through how to use it. Now, if we change our view a little bit, look at the top surface. This is where we have this press arm. This press arm, Jing was holding it as a handle. You can do that. We don't recommend that, it, but it's, it's over-engineered, so you could do that if you wanted to do that. Don't worry about holding it from there. This was a question at the beginning. They were like, well, you didn't put a lid on it, so people are going to start doing this. We're like, well, let's over-engineer it so nothing happens to it. Build it like a tank. So this press arm throughout is just going to go up and down, up and down. The other piece here is this red piece of plastic that sits over the print glass. It's called template. So this template allows up to three capsules to be pressed at the same time. Now in the future, this thing is removable for two reasons. In the future, we may come up with the different templates, different capsules, as well as the fact that the only thing that you need to maintain on this printer is this print glass. You just have to wipe it clean, make sure it's clean. That's all. There's nothing else involved in this printer. Nothing else. Super easy, super easy to use and maintain over time. Once you're done, you put the template back on and you're good to go. Let's peel another layer of this thing. Let's look at the inside of it. It is also featuring 385 nanometer UVA light engines. So all the precision that we just talked about about Pro 2 is carried over to this guy as well. And in addition to that, all the electronics and everything in there is allowing the digital press mechanism to work. So this is the digital press, the other component of this system. 385 nanometer UVA, precise prints. It's fast, super fast. I'm going to show you soon. It's very precise. Zero upkeep and super easy to use. Step one is that you scan. You scan the capsule. And let me actually just do that right now, huh? How about that? 
So these capsules are shipped in this packaging, very nice packaging. Every three of them come in one of these. So they're a single shade right here. See them? Beautiful. So let's go through one of the print jobs. All right, I have a 3D Next demo loaded right here. Beautiful. There's going to be three appliances on this. All right. So I think people who are gamers, which I think most of you are, you have great laptops, so you gotta be gamers. You can detect, you can see the, 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 these symbols. Anybody can understand those. We went back to PlayStation and said, hey, we wanna use this. <laughs> awesome. So let's, let's just go through this process. Let's start by scanning. Print. Mm, came on. So it says scan one of these things, all right? We're gonna do that. Let's read that. It says remove the protective film. Every one of them comes with a protective film. Just place it, and it automatically detected that. There's a sensor. It knows you just did that. And if you do it wrong, because you can print multi-shade, if you put the wrong shade in there, it's just gonna do error proofing for you. And it's asking for the second one, all right? Beautiful. One more. Scan and place. So three capsules at a time. And it says it only takes eight minutes. Isn't that amazing? So once you place all these capsules and it detected that you're good to go, we're gonna start the press process. And this is gonna take eight minutes. We're just gonna let it run and then we continue and then we're gonna take them out at the end. Let's go. So you can see the print arm is now moving down. Beautiful, now it's in place. All right, let's continue. So the press process is happening. What's happening inside and outside? I mean, you're gonna see it here on, on the camera, but here's a quick animation just showing what's happening on the outside, what's happening on the inside. The press plunger is just forcing viscous material through the channels, and then on the other end, we project and print. Very cool. And once it's done, which is going to be done in eight minutes, what do you do? Just you grab the capsule, and you just remove the restoration right from there. Voila, that easy. Anybody can do that. For the very first time, we are gonna have more than 70% ceramics packed into this. What can you do with this? First of all, I guess the obvious one are crowns. You can do interior, posterior, full contour crowns in less than eight minutes. We're actually running a full job of many things. You're gonna see it. Next up, veneers. No prep and prep veneers. You can, that isn't that cool. They're just stacked on top of each other. We do this like a tree so we can fit even more appliances in one capsule. So imagine you can print three crowns at the same time, nine veneers at the same time, or combine them together. It's limitless. And finally, inlays and onlays and fillings. So we are really, really excited about the next piece. We didn't stop right there. So now we're introducing AI Studios, restoration designs on autopilot. It makes it super easy for you guys to just go from scan to a final appliance in a matter of seconds or minutes. So this is AI Studio that we are introducing along with Midas system. It's AI assisted, that means you have control over it. It's not just AI driven. Crowns, Inlays and onlays are now doable with this. It's integrated with Midas, and it's also free with a Midas purchase. How's that going over there? 18, 17. Oh, it's done. No. 13. It's coming back up. And you're I, A, seven, six, six. Go! 
Uh, that is really faster. <laughs> take it out. Moment of truth. All right. First one. <laughs> Please be there. <laughs> there you go. One restoration at a time. This is an onlay. All right. So what you need to do here is just wipe it off and you're ready to go. Next one. There's an onlay. Sorry, it's a, it's, it's like a more of a crown, yes. All right, another one right here. You ready? Last one. Give us a crown. Veneers, three of them. Veneers. Yeah.